Hi, my name is David. Today we're going to do a JavaScript tutorial on Free Coach Camp. So this exercise is called Standing Line, and we're going to talk about queues. So queues in computer science is a data structure where items are kept in order, and is when new items are, can be added to the back of the queue, and then old items are taken off from the front of the queue. Just think of a line. You have a, a line of people. If you go in the back, you when you come in, you go in the back, and then the first person in line gets out. So we have a function here next in line, which takes an array and a number of items as an argument. We have a function here, an array and an item. And what it wants us to do is that it wants us to add the number to the end of the array, then remove the first element of the array. So the next in line function is to return the element that was removed. So we're, we're replicating a, a queue data structure using arrays and this function. So we can see here that we have we have a before. We can look in the console log where we have a before, and it console logs this string one two three four five. And this is testing our code. And then next we're console logging the six the 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 return what's being returned, and that's going to say what's next in line, and then what happens to the line after the code. So that's what this console log is saying. So to do this exercise, it wants us to add the number to the end of the array. So it wants to, what we want to do is that we want to push the item to the end of the array. So our dot push item. Great. So we can look at this console log before. So it starts off at one, two, three, four, five. And then after it's console logging this variable, so we see that six is in there. Now we have to, the first in line gets off. So we do the shift function. So our dot shift. And we see here that now it starts off at one, two, three, four, five. Six is added and the first one's out. And once it's returned six, so we can, if they have it returned to the item, so we can just assign item to this very, this function because this was being shifted. And now we return that value. And that should be all for this one. Thank you so much.